Welcome everybody to another weekly Take 5 video where we take about five minutes to look at an important uh, computer tip or skill. This is Mark Mannering from Class Training and for all you iPad uh, users out there we're just going to be looking at some uh, quick shortcuts and some tips on how to use our iPad. Now a lot of you uh, would probably know some of these but uh, you might pick up some things that you can use on, on your iPad. Now what I've done with my iPad just for this uh, particular session is to set it up so that when I tap it with my finger you'll see a little white dot so you can see what I'm doing so that's one finger there's two fingers and with three fingers obviously so you can see what I'm doing as well so here's my home screen obviously and uh, what we're going to look at is just initially the uh, little dots you can see towards the bottom which most of you would know uh, relates to the number of pages or home pages that I have in my iPad so that first dot is highlighted so I'm on my first home page and if I just swipe to the right I get to the second home page, you can see the white dot highlighted there and so on. The third dot's there which means I must have another third page or an extra page so I can swipe across and there's my third page and we can come back to just swiping back to our home page or the first home page. If we swipe across to another uh, screen as most of you would know there's the hardware button on your iPad and we can just tap that and it goes immediately back to your first home page. Off to the left of that first highlighted dot you'll see a small magnifying glass and that means I can swipe to the left and come up with the or display the search iPad screen. And This is where you can in enter a, a keyword such as uh, uh, business and your iPad searches all your information so anything with the word business in it such as contacts or calendar items or emails that contain that keyword business will pop up and now you could tap one of those to uh, go into the information or the details. You can see the on-screen keyboard coming up there so just to hide that on-screen keyboard the bottom right hand corner is to uh, minimize the, uh, the, the screen keyboard and I can tap that and it minimizes I've got more room to have a look at. Now to go back to my main screen I can swipe off to the right or just hit the home hardware button and it goes back to my home page. Now another thing most of you know that you can do is to rearrange the icons on your home screen and, and on any screen. So if I hold down on any icon, so on the clock here I'll just hold down and the icons start to wiggle or vibrate. Now they're in editing mode and you can grab one of those, doesn't matter which one, the calendar here and just move it around to change the order of course in terms of the priority of the applications or apps you might use and you can move those around like that. Now to stop editing mode we just tap the or press the hardware button, the home hardware button. If I swipe to my second home page there uh, what you can also do apart from just moving things around is to create folders or groups of apps and you can see I've got in the middle there social media and productivity apps and what I want to do for example with uh, up the top I've got Dropbox and Google Drive so I'm going to combine those two and, and call the uh, group or folder if you like I'll call it uh, Cloud Drives so to do that we just hold down on any app again so we go into editing mode and now we have the app icons uh, wiggling again so I can move them around you'll notice on the second home page the black or white X's the white, white on black X's and that means I can uninstall or remove or delete the particular app if there's no little black X, or white X I should say, then you can't uh, delete that. So with Google Drive and Dropbox, I want to move them into a, a group or folder. So I hold down on Google Drive for example, and actually move it around on top of the other icon or the app icon that I want to combine. The iPad comes up straight away with a, a group and a suggested name. So I'm just going to hit the grey X on the right here, and I can type in cloud drives for example. That's all I want. Now I can hit the home hardware button or just tap outside and it goes back to uh, the main screen. You can see the cloud drives fold up the top there and to go back to normal mode just tap the home hardware button and away we go. Now one of the more important aspects of your iPad you should get used to uh, is the settings area of your iPad. So if I just swipe back to the first home page I've got my settings uh, icon there or app icon in the middle and if I tap that it goes into the main settings of uh, the iPad and we go into a lot of things that you can set up down the left hand side turn on your uh, wallpaper or change your wallpaper change the brightness uh, look at your VPN one thing that you should look at uh, is the uh, signature block for your email so if I just swipe up a little bit there's mail contacts and calendars tapping on that 
on the right hand side we just need to scroll up again and there's my signature block cheers Mark sent from my iPad tapping that brings up the uh, editing area and I can change that so that uh, I'm not 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 having the same sort of thing that most people have just sent from my iPad you can put a bit more information in there for your signature block when you send out emails tapping the home hardware button quickly brings us out of that back to the main home screen now obviously you're not going to play around with your iPad you want to be able to create things manage your documents uh, look at emails calendar and so on and uh, we've got on the second screen there we've got other things that we can do for example uh, a lot of you would be using Evernote and you can see in the middle there I've got uh, productivity apps and inside that group if I just tap that I've got uh, some apps there that are quite useful there's Evernote there so just quickly with Evernote I'll just tap on that and as most of you would know all this is sort of stored up in the cloud so the Evernote account that you create allows you to store all these notes and draft documents and ideas and so on uh, up in the cloud so you can uh, access those from anywhere from your uh, smartphone or PC and um, everything's up to date and synchronized if I go into uh, Google course on the top left hand corner there just tap that it brings up uh, some notes and I can uh, draft some ideas and do some things there I can add photos across the top there you can see the uh, various tools and uh, draft some ideas and then uh, grab them off my PC for example and bring them into other documents and so on at the moment we're looking at all notes if I just drag from the top there I can go to my notebooks and we can have them divided up into folders or notebooks and uh, you can see top right hand corner here the business one that's that's got eight notes in it if I tap that it goes into where we were before and it says there was an error retrieving products from the App Store so those errors will pop up this is almost live people so uh, we always get little things like that happening uh, and we just go okay to get rid of that okay tapping the home hardware button takes us back to the screen there and tapping it again or pressing it brings us back to where we were okay so lots of things you can do with your iPad there's a lot more that uh, we can cover as well but you need to work out how you're going to use your iPad not just for the sake of it's a bit of novelty and I can watch movies and so on but most of us are into uh, being a bit more productive on the road uh, and so we'll try and work out what's going to be best for you as far as um, uh, the apps and uh, the documents you need to work with. We also cover a lot more than what I've just done this session in our iPad courses and webinars so look out for those on our website classtraining.com.au there's always an iPad course coming up very soon so have a look at that and come along bring your iPad and uh, we'll learn a lot more as well. So this is Mark Mannering signing off until next week uh, see you again thanks a lot bye. Mm -hmm.